So here's the reasoning behind the concept of this hike. Being comfortable doing things by myself has been something that I've been putting off doing for far too long. I love my own space, but living full time in a van with my boyfriend Mitch means that my so-called own space hasn't been something that either of us have had for nearly three years. With that, we have grown very reliant on each other, more so on my end, so coming up with something like this gives us that much needed alone time, but also hopefully provides a different hiking experience. One of the same route, but with two completely different perspectives. So this is really weird. We've just left each other and we're now on the trail alone. Although I can actually still see Mitch through the bushes. But this is, this is different for us. This is very different for me. I'm excited to see how I go. I've never been on any sort of hike alone. I'm excited to see how this goes, but also equally really nervous. When we were picking out this route, we definitely underestimated how hard it was going to be. It's definitely not what we expected, but it's absolutely stunning. The hike that we are doing is the one shown here. From point one, me and Mitch are walking in opposite directions for 5.6 kilometres to reach the middle point of the trail, which is where we'll stop and have some dinner before turning back around and leaving each other once again to scramble back down the circular in opposite directions. I'm just about to lose sight of Martha over in the distance. I hope she does okay. I'm just really weird about being on my own right now. I'm just completely out of my comfort zone and so many things are going through my head right now about like am I taking the right route I can't see Mitch anymore like is that okay so I'm going to be heading up this which looks really quite steep there's a lot of elevation within this walk and it hasn't been that long since we filmed the previous video so I'm really really nervous about my knee today it's mainly coming down so I should be all right going up but we're just gonna positive mental attitude I'll be fine. Oh, my brain is going in so many weird, weird places, just being in my own thoughts. But it's definitely, definitely a good thing. In the past, I've struggled a lot with my mental health, I still do. So doing something like this a year or two ago, wouldn't have even been a question. I would not have done it at all. So to be out here now, by myself, in nature, I can only just give myself a pat on the back. It's been a long time to get here. Still not completely there at all. So it's just a reminder, if anyone else struggles about getting out of the comfort zone, just know you're not alone. Even small little tasks, like basically going on a walk with yourself, can be daunting. So every little bit that you make every day, I think is a step in the right direction. And I'm really, really proud of myself for doing this already. So yeah, just a little note to you and my future self that you can do it. I can see people up on the ridge line behind me, up over this way, and I can see one body on its own. And I wonder if it's Martha. They're not moving, whoever it is. I was really enjoying being on my own for the first half of this. And now all of a sudden I'm pretty bored. So I hope Martha's getting some quality time out of this because I need her back to annoy her. That's the main reason she needs some time on her own to get away from me doing her editing. I just looked down at my watch and I'm on 3.4 kilometers, which to be, I really, really did think I was a lot further than that. The meeting point that we've decided that we're going to have tea is it, I think 5.6 kilometers. So I've still got a good ways to go. I told Martha before we set off that if any either of us take longer than 45 minutes to get to the center point of the circuit, then we should just start walking the other way around and hopefully meet up with each other. Oh, just realized I got my sunglasses on, I'll get told off by Martha. <laughs> well, anyway, what I was gonna say was I need to get a grip and stop moaning because look around me. It is absolutely stunning. And I've not even like taken it in yet because my legs have been burning. The weather in Wales so far while we've been here has been absolutely dismal. So for us to be able to get a day like this, to do this hike, is very lucky. Hi Mr Sheep. 
my sheep. Oh my god, there's so much, so much longer to go. It is so steep, but the views are like so worth it. Just getting better and better. But my god, it's testing. This is gonna sound so stupid, but like I'm so used to Mitch being there and being like the person in front, so even I'd know where to step. Like that's how much of a comfort zone I'm at right now. Like I usually will rely on his footing to know where to go. The fact that I'm navigating this on my own right now is like testing the old, the old noggin to make sure I'm going the right way and I'm not gonna fall and oh, I don't know. Oh, it's so good. I really thought the climbing was done for me then. I've just slogged up that hill. I've, I've got signals, so I have texted Mitch to say it's taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. It looks like I'm going up there. Oh, I feel a bit sick. I hope Mitch isn't making really good time or else he's going to be there for a long time waiting for me. Holy crap. Look at the size of this caterpillar. That is the biggest caterpillar I've ever seen in my life. Massive. I wonder if in the future, me and Martha should do this same style of hike again, but instead of just meeting at the middle, we're racing to the middle because I've got a good feeling Martha would beat me up there. She's so much fitter on her legs than me. I've just got a message off Martha saying it's taken me so much longer than I thought it would. I'm so glad that's just come through. Oh my God, I wonder where she is. I'm gonna have to ask her. I don't know if Martha can see me, <laughs> but she's told me that she's looking for me because she can see the lake on the other side of the ridge. So I've told her that I'm waving on top of the first peak. Where's she? All I can see is two people over there. Unless she's got a new boyfriend already. It's not her. Mitch is meant to be out there somewhere. He says he's waving. And I cannot see him. Where are you, Mitch? I have no clue where I'm looking. I'm sorry, Mitch. I have no idea. We're pretty much both three kilometers ish in so that's a good sign well so I've, I've officially made it to like my first peak holy cow like this is insane i do not feel like i'm in wales right now god it's gorgeous i'm literally up in the clouds it's so windy but it's like 360 views oh my god the clouds coming over this is crazy <laughs> This is, honestly, I'm speechless. This is reminding me of being somewhere like the Pyrenees or so, not Wales. What the hell? Amazing. I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted right now. I'm so proud of myself. The cloud has just cleared even more and I can see the sea. I haven't seen the sea in so long. I didn't even know that that led to it. Honestly, it's so nice doing this hike by myself, but part of me right now wishes Mitch is here. It's so much nicer being able to exp like share the experiences together. It's very freeing being up here by myself. I must admit, it is really cool. But he just won't be able to see exactly what I saw. And I'll have to explain it, and I don't feel like explaining ever does it justice. I could honestly stay up here for so long, but I know I need to carry on. And to be honest, the views are probably going to get so much better as well. So that's all I need to do. I just need to carry on and then I'll find Mitch. And hopefully he's having just as good of a view. I have no idea where he is, but it'd be fun if he's getting some epic views as well. I've just been waving at Martha, trying to look for her on the ridge without even looking down. Look at this, <laughs> what I was stood next to. That looks insane. Oh, she said she can't see me. I can't see her, to be fair. I'm gonna have to put my jacket on because I'm I'm slowing down the pace a little bit now for Martha, so I'm not too far ahead. I've got a little bit of a, like, blocking from the wind here. So I'm gonna use that to advantage and have 10 seconds to wait. Oh, I'm glad I brought this now. Genuinely, no matter where you are in Wales, you can't get away from the sheep. They are everywhere. Look around me.
there's something special about walking through a cloud. <laughs> Right, I'm back on now. I'm in a good mood again. I got a little bit down earlier. That was on my own. I was getting tired. Now I'm back on. I just ran all the way back down there for this clip. So if you don't subscribe and like, Don't you think hiking is a bit sadistic? Like I was just at this height over on that peak over there. And now I've got to climb straight back up. So I've made it to the top point here. This is so cool. <sighs> She's here now. She hasn't seen me. She's up there, look. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. Are you not freezing? Yeah. I was gonna say. Oh my god, you can see the sea! Yeah, I know! I need a message to What? See. Honestly. Your view must have been so much better than mine. Honestly, Mitch, it has been so incredible. You need to get the drone up like so many times. Wow, it's so much nicer over this side. Is it? I yeah. thought, I didn't know if you were getting the views as well, but honestly, that whole ridge walk, you can see 360, like all the way over there to all the way to the sea, Whoa. all the way over there. Have you seen the res here? No. At uh, Lake here, sorry, not res. There's like loads Whoa. more. There's a couple more along here as well. It's so windy. I know. We need to sit, sort of sit somewhere where we're out the wind. It might be better off on the backside of this. We're meant yeah. to be walking all the way over there, but it's going to be so windy over there for lunch. Yeah. Maybe we just man it out. Should we just man it out? What, and go along? Yeah, go on. I really hope this walk over to this other ridge is going to be worth it because this wind is blistering now. So cold. My friend's even got a jacket on yet. Yeah, I was like three kilometers ago thinking to myself, I'm so glad that we've got a salad for dinner. It'll be really nice and cold and it'll be like exactly what I want. And now I'm wishing I had like a suit or something. I'm I'm so cold. It's nice to have someone to talk to again. <laughs> <laughs> I got to, I like flew the drone when we were here, when I was at the lake. Yeah. And I'd sat down for like 10 minutes flying the drone about. And then I was like, oh, it would be quite nice to talk to someone now. Oh. <laughs> and then I got like in a slump. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. And I was just like, I don't really want to be doing this. <laughs> and then I got up to, and then the cloud came over me and I was dead happy again. Oh. What a saga. I know. I've been like through the five stages of grief. <laughs> wow. This is the lunch spot. That is so cool. Look how blue the water is. Putting on my knee sleeves to go back down just after the last time of what happened. I'm just trying to be preventative and hope that it helps me when I'm going down to be a bit stronger and it might just psychologically make me feel better as well. Right, it's time to turn back round and head back. We've got half a kilometre left of each other. <laughs> You're actually sad about it, I know you are. I am. I'm not messing about on this way back down. I'm cold. I want to get back to the van, have a cup of tea and eat about 50,000 million biscuits. I'm in the right mind to get back now in a timely but safe matter. You mean manner? Manner. Oh, fuck <laughs> no. Manner. Hi. Could you not have thought of anything more original then? That was your brain ticking, wasn't it? Thinking, what a f funny thing am I going to say to the camera? <laughs> I made a great joke earlier. <laughs> and I was just laughing by myself. I'm really, really nervous about my knee today. I've got my knee sleeves if needs be, but <laughs> if needs be. <laughs> the time's come again for us to leave each other. We think we know which way I'm going, and Mitch is going straight over this this peak. Oh, I'm not messing about. Right, see you in a bit. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 
so so far we're off, off to a pretty bad start i've left mitch got lost and then i've just also just gone over on my ankle although it seems okay it just really made me poop my pants a little bit i think i'm feeling pretty positive about this whole situation and the going downhill which is the bit that scares me the most i just get into this mindset when I'm in a situation like this where I just really want to get back. Me and Mitch both got the same heads on that we just want to get back, get this done and be back in the van. I think I've definitely got the nicer of the two walks back. That ridge line just over yonder is the one that Martha's on and it looks black, cold and windy, whereas I'm in the sunshine. Wow, so here's what Mitch has come over. There's me thinking this was all going to be downhill. It looks like I'm going up that to go back over around there. I really thought this would just be an all downhill breeze. been sat here getting the time lapse of this cloud coming over just taking it all in when you're walking and you can hear the stones moving under your feet and it is quite noisy you don't realize how quiet it actually is up here it's absolutely incredible like i'm the only person i can see in the distance but i've never really done this just sat on my own complete silence just like taking in the view it's absolutely amazing I'm terrible at explaining this sort of stuff. I'm like really, really bad at explaining. But I think I've fallen in love with the mountains. Unbelievable. It is completely white up here. I'm not enjoying this as much this time around I need to be honest everything now that the clouds come in just seems really unfamiliar and a lot scarier I'm pretty scared right now I've just somehow scrambled down that I'm starting to get a gauge of where I am so I don't feel as scared anymore being outdoors honestly brings me so much joy and I never thought I'd really be saying that I, I didn't really grow up as that much of an outdoorsy kid in terms of like camping trips or big hiking trips as a family or anything I'd like play out and do little bits like that but it was never this sort of outdoors outdoors honestly I can't explain how much like happiness this brings me I suppose over the past year as well since we've been traveling in the van it's now we've realized kind of what fills our cups and what we enjoy doing the most if you followed us since the start then you'll know we did whole city thing and like when we went into Lisbon and I absolutely hated it and we're not city people and now that we've kind of understood that and understood more about ourselves it's really nice and refreshing to be kind of going into this next chapter of our van life adventures with sort of a different scope a different way of us looking at how we want our channel to be our like identity to be i suppose in terms of like what we want to do ourselves as well with or without the camera and it just feels so nice because we we've started looking for more stuff like this and doing looking at more challenges and and it just makes me really happy and it makes me happy as well to see that other people like you enjoy watching these types of video and let us know as well if you if you do honestly because I feel like we're coming at it with a completely different perspective and persona now that we're doing something that we really enjoy and we're passionate about so I feel like it's a lot easier to put that across to the camera so yeah I just wanted to make a, a note of saying that that we want this year to be more about living outside of the van yet living in it and if I don't know if that makes sense but we want our outdoor adventures and things that we do beyond living in a van to kind of take more of the focus point to the channel and to what we produce because that's where we 
tr I truly truly like happy and en enjoy doing them kind of things I'm just kind of walking right now just feeling super grateful that we've kind of had that realization and this is what we enjoy and I'm out here literally by myself and I'd love to do more like this and hopefully build up the courage one day to do my own solo overnight hike so let me know if that's anything you'd be interested in me doing this is such a nice walk down I'm really enjoying it so yeah, I'm just gonna go back to my silence now I've actually decided to jog down a bit of this section now because I was sat there for way too long the clouds coming over Martha's probably beating me really badly getting back so I don't want to let her wait for me for too long plus I've got the van keys so I need to get a wriggle on wow look at me dropping down from the clouds I'm gonna have to start hiking in the afternoon more often this sunset now is amazing okay I've just had a message off Martha she's told me she's at like 10 point six kilometers or something which is like a kilometer and a half in front of me so i really need to pick the pace up so i think i've just caught sight of mitch and i'm pretty sure he's running i'm like 100 percent sure he is running right now is he okay he is oh my god he's gonna get there way before me at this rate why is he running I can't run. It's just this little like black speck with a bucket hat on <laughs> that I could just see coming down. I was like, I wonder if he'll be there yet. He has got down that in record time, considering how long it took me to get up there. He's crazy. He is crazy. I don't believe it. After all that, me sprinting down here, I've beaten her back. I have no idea how. I've just full on sprinted down that hill, like genuinely from the top to the bottom, I reckon about 20 minutes. <laughs> and I thought Martha was going to be waiting here for me. Nowhere to be seen. I have no clue what she's up to. I was pretty sure that he'd beaten me back and it definitely was him sprinting down the hill. <laughs> Oh, feels good to be back. That last clip was terrible. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you glad you've done it? Yeah, I am. I'm, I feel so strange and so proud of myself in so many weird ways. Like it's, it's just a walk, but yeah. it, it's been a lot more than that. We've basically been on, on our own the whole time. Like, we've not really seen many people. Yeah. But I'm happy we've done it. Right, not too soppy then. No. <laughs> no. Well, thank you so much for watching if you got this far. Yeah. If you did get this far, comment sunflowers. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already, because it really means a lot. And that's it, I'm ready for a cup of tea and to go to bed. So. Yeah. Alright, catch you next time. <laughs>